America near the breaking point. Hospitals slammed with COVID cases, patients taking up more than 80% of the beds as cases explode across the country. 40 New York State hospitals ordered to stop elective surgeries and LA County breaking a new record. Fight to play. Tennis star Novak Djokovic ready to find out today whether he'll be granted a visa to defend his Australian Open title as he sits in a detention center. How his attorneys will be handling the case, ESPN tennis analyst Patrick McEnroe joins us live. Crackdown in Kazakhstan. Authorities backed by Russian-led forces apparently back in control. How the country's turmoil could affect tense talks this week between the U.S. and Moscow. Arctic blast, freezing temperatures from Virginia to Vermont, the icy conditions with severe weather in Texas, deluged with 10 inches of rain, our weather team on the changing forecast. Skiers hospitalized. Time to call 911. The horrifying moment, a pipe burst at a ski resort, shooting a geyser of freezing water, hitting helpless skiers. They literally fell down. The water was so high, it just sprayed them so fast, and they like, fell on top of each other. Multiple people now injured, what the resort is saying this morning. And big moments on the gridiron. The 86-yard scoop and score for the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're almost 24 hours away from the college football playoff national championship. We have to earn you know, the outcome that we want. The last minute preps and what the players are saying ahead of the big game. Live from ABC News in New York, this is Good Morning America. Good morning, America. It is good to be back. And we are really happy to have our good friend yes. James Longman from the London Bureau joining us this weekend. That's right. Thank you very much. I'm excited for a weekend of sports. That's right. Yes. <laughs> American football. American you football. were glued to the TV Lots yesterday. Lots of American football mm -hmm. to watch this weekend. We have a lot of other things to talk about as well. Across the country, hospitals are filling up with COVID patients. The Omicron wave sending caseloads sky high. According to the CDC, the current seven-day moving average of daily new cases is more than 660. 60, and with that spike in cases comes a dramatic rise in hospitalizations among children. The rate of new admissions rocketing past the previous peak in the summer. And still under 70% of eligible Americans have been fully vaccinated. The situation is especially concerning this morning in California where the governor is calling in the national.